Okay, guys, so Thursday. And we've had two trades this week, both partial loss. Now, first thing I want to talk about today is basically managing trades and not hitting full stop loss. So even though I have a one-to-one -one risk reward, usually, I will cut the trade before if it doesn't move the way that I want, resulting in a partial loss, which these trades, even though I risk 2%, I'm only down 0.9% on these two trades, not doing what I want. Now, that is just literally pure risk management, managing the trade. And so then you lose a lot less than what you make if it goes right. So these two, this could have potentially been a 2% loss. This could have been, you know, basically what it was, but it could have been a lot worse. I could have been down 2.6% rather than 0.9% on these two. So yeah, managing trades, knowing when the trade is not moving the way that you want and cutting it before you hit your stop loss. So yeah, a lot a lot of things that have to happen in order for me to cut it. But basically this one here, I was expecting it to move down after two hours. After two hours, it didn't really do that. So I moved SL to here. And we manage risk. This one, as you saw here from the previous one, one minute. This is what I was expecting. Move down and then the move to the upside after two to three hours maximum. After three hours, we only had that. I moved SL to just below here. It hit SL here. And that's absolutely fine. So yeah, didn't move the way that I wanted to these times. On the weekly, we can see that we've been in this consolidation for quite a while. All of this here, we've got nice moves, nice moves. But for six weeks now, we've been in this consolidation period. It doesn't know whether it's going to break this level or move to the upside. But we shall see what's happening today. So it's been a little bit of a slogger because we've literally just been in this consolidation and my strat doesn't really work in this consolidation. But we move on. So today, we know that there's a nice level of buy pressure here. We know that it's been seen buy pressure here for quite a while. So what do we think? Potentially. A buy, again, I'm open to this going short if it breaks. But for now, if we just take a look at the evidence, I mean, beautiful level of buy pressure, potentially a move to the upside here. So, yeah, but we do have this here as well. We do have this slight downtrend happening. Again, this is why I'm only get going to go to here, because it could tap this level and then move down. So, yeah, looking for a long today on US 100. Let's see what happens. I don't think that we have any news. We have literally Fed Williams speech and a Fed Collins speech and a Fed uh, Bostic speech. None of those are really relevant. Those people, we have jobless claims, we have PPI month on month, which should move the market pretty well, to be fair. Jobless claims will as well. So we'll see what happens. We've got those that are happening today. US 30. Basically, I'm going to guess did the same as US 100. Yep, moved down and then done absolutely nothing after. To be honest, because this is below this level here, We have seen a minor break at this level. So, let's see if we can get a touch. And then, 
to move down. What level are we going to try and take take profit, as we can see here, buy pressure here? So that's where we're going to take TP. If we can get a sell today, we'll see what happens. But yeah, very, very clear on US 30 that we've broken that level. US 100 still hasn't. So maybe there's something in this. Maybe we are actually destined for a move to the downside. Maybe. Who knows? Gold. Let's take a look at this. Gold did nada yesterday. Nada. Nothing. But again, we do have jobless claims. We do have this level still. So still potentially a move to the upside here. Nice level of support. Consolidation had yesterday close. Close bearish, but at a level of support at the weekly high. So, yeah, potentially going to break today. Bounce, sorry, move to the upside. Could be a very decent day today because it does move quite smooth on initial jobless claims and PPI. So, yeah, we do have this slight downtrend here as well. So, if it can break the downtrend with a bullish engulfing candle. We can definitely place trade to the upside there. Very, very nice. So that's gold. Great trying against the yen now. Oops. Why? Okay, that has moved very much to the upside. Yesterday, ooh, couple of hours, wait one minute. Oh, this is the 1H. Okay, one minute. Daily, so yesterday was bearish. Today, super bullish. Not even giving us a little bit of a chance to get in. I did say yesterday we could see a bounce here, but we didn't move down. And now, I'm going to say, basically the same trade as yesterday, but still, wait for an exhaustion. Wait for buyers to come back in. Don't just place a buy limit order here. Because just like yesterday, you can just break that level. Looking for a long here. It's exactly what you're looking for. Even on the 15, minor exhaustion, bullish engulfing candle continuation move. Like this. Like this. That's what you're looking for. If you don't see buyers come back in, you do not buy. Simple as that. Let's have a look at the fundamentals, see if it makes sense fundamentally. Long term, Great British Pound is stronger than the yen. Medium term, the Great British Pound is stronger. Short term, the best fundamental separation of them all. So, yes, very much to the upside on Great British Pound against the yen. Great British Pound against the USD. This moved hella to the downside yesterday, so I am expecting more moves like that today. Saw so sell pressure at the downtrend after CPI, which is absolutely fine, because now we actually have direction. I did say that technically, I have been saying technically, it looks to the downside fundamentally. It looks to the upside. But now that has changed because of CPI. So long term, the Great British Pound is weaker than the USD now. Medium term, the Great British Pound is weaker. Short term, the Great British Pound is actually stronger. So we are going to see a minor move to the upside. Long term moves to the downside. Again, we've got this level of sell pressure here. Previous buy pressure, now comes sell pressure. Looking for a bounce at this level. Simple as that. Euro USD. Last one. If you have any more, let me know. So I said that if it broke, 
we can move to the upside. Didn't move to the downside. Again, we have this level here. So what do we look for? Move to that level. Continuation will move. Let's see if we can get a better move though. Get a move down to there, can't we? Down to one point zero seven zero zero zero. Boom. There we go. That was very nice in the daily as well. Very nice level of buy pressure there. We can get rid of this. We don't need this level anymore. Very, very simple, easy, and clean for Euro USD and the Great British Pound against the USD. Very clean for these two. Super clean price action. So, yeah, guys, that is that. That is US 100, US 30, gold. The Graves Pan against the Yen, Euro USD, and Graves Pan against USD. Thank you guys for joining. iPhone, Mo, Razor, Pauline, thank you. I shall see you at 2 30 for trading live. Let's see if we can recover this month's losses. Take care. Bye bye.